Hey guys, this is Richard here, and I am playing Nancy Drew, Alibi in Ashes, the 25th game in the Nancy Drew series. So this is a new playthrough that I decided to play because I am a pretty big Nancy Drew fan. I love sleuthing and everything, so here we go. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operation, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, Take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. Don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the note and you'll be on your way. Alright, yes, yeah, so yeah, this is one of the newer, I, I say newer because it's it's a few years old now, but one of the newer games in the Nasty Drew series, there are currently 31 games out. So this is, and this is the 25th, so I think it's pretty good. <clears throat> so yeah, um, in this game... Uh, Nancy and her friends, um, Bess, George, and her boyfriend, Ned, take part of the Clues Challenge, um, just this competition that they have in River, Heart, uh, River Heights where they live. Um, and yeah, I think Nancy is about to follow up on another clue, so we're going to investigate that. Um, so this is Nancy's desk, if you haven't already noticed. Um, here's a scrapbook from all the other games, so from 1 to 24. Um, I've played most of them. I think they're... I think they're really fun. So, and here's a light post, whatever. Um, if you've never played the game before, you can click on how to be a detective, and Nancy Drew will go through a whole tutorial on how to how to play. So, anyway, but without further ado, we're gonna click on the note here. This anagram from the clues challenge says we should go check out the thermostat at the old town hall. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna play in junior detective because I am a noob. <laughs> Okay. The last remaining section of the Iron Nugget discovered by Ethan Mahoney that was used to create River Heights first anvil. Cool. Let's go in. Who's there? What's going on? Is that an ice cube? What's happening? Uh Oh shoot. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Okay, so I obviously can't get out that way. Um I'm going to have to create a way through the window. Oh my goodness. Come on Nancy. It's kind of silly how Nancy feels like, "Oh, I need to climb up there in order to reach it." Uh, we're gonna do that, and that, and that, and that, um, I'm trapped. The only way out is through that window. I'm trapped. The only way out is through that window. I'm trapped. The only time to get out of here. Okay, so, <coughs> crawling out. <coughs> That way, not that door. This way. There we go. Thank God we got out. What made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't. Did you work alone? Who helped you? What do you mean work alone? <clears throat> this is not looking good for Nancy. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire <clears throat> I was locked in the room where the fire started. I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? I was following a lead for the clues challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The fire spread through the whole building in a matter of seconds. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did 
you notice anything else out of the ordinary? There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? <coughs> Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? It must have been one of the people at the scene of the fire. There you have it. A former hero and city icon, rendered speechless. And speechless is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods to. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. Uh-oh. Lucky that no one else was there. So you think he would start the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. There was this snowflake shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Oh, hang on, there's someone at the door. Oh no. Chief McGinnis? There's. My head's in high gear, Nancy. What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have a right to speak to an attorney. Drew, you're free to make a call. So we're in jail. That happened really quick, guys. Alright, so we can make one call. I guess we have to call Dad. Let's do it. <clears throat> Nancy's dad is Carson Drew. You've reached the personal line of Carson Drew. Please direct all business matters to the firm switch board. Hi, it's Nancy. I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait. I don't know if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. I got a note telling me to go to town hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. You think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. I guess I better get going now. I'll try you again soon. <laughs> okay, let's call Bess again. Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. You're the best, Bess. Remember that wiki we were using for the clues challenge? The program George put on our phone, right? Right. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. There's something I need right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. Can you keep an eye on the house until I'm out? Way ahead. Togo. Pretty upset. George's mom is taking care of it back at her place. Oh, good. Thank you so much. It's nothing. We're all here for you. Anything you need. It's your turn to take the case. Time to help Nancy. So what I love about this game is that you can play as best George and Ned in order to help get Nancy out of jail. So I mean, obviously Nancy can't um. She can't sleuth on her own since she's being held in jail against her own will. So, anyway, <clears throat> we're going to go to the town hall right now and get that note for Nancy. Which is right here. Okay. 
Now, if you go this way, if you go this way, um, you get arrested, and you don't want that. And then it's the second, second, uh, second ending. Uh, so yeah. So you need to go this way. This is the note that Nancy wants. And the note is here. All right now, um, you can go inside the house, but not right now. I'm pretty sure you can't go in right now. Yeah, Bess won't let you go in there yet, so we'll go in there later. Right now, we're going to go back to the police station and uh, have the note ready for Nancy. The police station is here somewhere. Is this it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Don't even remember where the police station is. Um... There you go. <clears throat> okay, so this is the package drop box um, that obviously you use to uh, drop off evidence and stuff that Nancy can use. So, bringing her that right now, closing this. Right, let's do that. Alright, so now we have to prove to Chief McGinnis that we are innocent. So we have to get evidence against um, the other four people at the crime scene. So. This is the case for. Track your case on. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, right, Nancy? Anyway, so we have our four suspects here Alexei Markovic. Tony Scolari, Deirdre Shannon, and Brenda Carlton. Um, we saw them earlier, so we're going to figure out what to do now. Let's just explore a little bit for the rest of this video. So here's the forensics department. Here we're going to be analyzing um, samples for something. <laughs> and I think over here, I think we can get something here. Uh, nope. That's locked. Okay. So this is locked. We need to open that. Oops. That's not what I want to do. Backing up. Okay. Mm turn it around. Over here, we have the computer. Okay. So we need to find out the password. Um, Finding around here somewhere. Investigating arson. Okay, this is probably good to read if you know you're interested in arson and what happens with fire and all that stuff. Here's a fingerprint scanner. This is gonna come in handy when uh, we gather fingerprints of the suspects. Uh, is there anything else here? I can open this. I think. Nope. Never mind. Nope. That's it. Um, did we grab the note from here? I think we did. Yeah, it's already on the board. So, other than that, um, there's really nothing else. Let me just show you really quickly before the, I have to end this video. Here's a task list. Um, you get it in junior mode. In senior mode, you don't get a task list. It doesn't show you what you need to do. So, That's done. get out of jail? No, obviously. Explore the police station? Nope, not yet. Figure out the computer password. So I need to figure out all this stuff, and we'll be doing that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We will continue trying to get Nancy out of jail and proving her innocence. So take care for now. Peace.